I'm Mick with American Air Cannons and today we're going to build the MGB 3.5 which is the golf ball cannon. So if you get your kit in the mail you're going to get it in a box like this. So we'd open up the kit, pull our parts box out, pull our barrel out, go ahead and get rid of the box. We're going to pull all our bits and pieces out and make sure that everything's there. And we can get rid of this box. The first thing I do is I bust out the uh, the Orbitz three quarter inch sprinkler valve. You can get this at any Home Depot store. I'm going to unscrew the electronic piece here, and we're going to toss that out. We don't need it. Next thing I'm going to do is I got a little Phillips ratchet screwdriver. I'm going to pull off these screws here and pull the housing apart. And then what I do is I just hold it this way with the hole on top and I just pull it apart and they just pop up. You're going to have a screen in there, a little spring thing here. So you only have three pieces, the cover, the housing, and the spring. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill out this, this cover and that will allow us to put our trigger assembly together. So I'm going to take this over to my drill press. I've got a little vise thing that I put it in. And what I do is I just put it, put it in there flat. Tighten it up. Not too tight, but just so it sits flat and it's snug. I'm going to line up my drill down in that little hole in the center of the cap. I'm just going to take my time. I'm just going to drill real slow and real smooth so it doesn't jerk or grab. As you can see, we drilled out a perfectly nice little hole right here in the center of where that hole is. So what I'm going to do now is take my quarter inch MPT pipe fitter. I'm going to start it. Use my 7 16 box end wrench and I'm going to thread out this hole. I only go about three quarters of the way on this thing. You want your uh, nipple to fit nice and tight but you don't want to go too far into the thing. So that's probably good enough. And there you have it. Pre-threaded. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull out these parts here. We've got a trigger assembly, a gauge, pressure gauge, a Schrader valve, air fill nozzle, and we have the uh, quarter inch nipple here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this in here. Again I'm going to grab my 9 16 wrench, tighten it up, just so it's nice and snug, that's all you need to do. Now what I would do next is I would fill this hole and I would fill this hole with JB Weld or you could use some silicone or something like that. JB Weld works great. That's what I prefer to use. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Set that off to the side. Now let's say we already filled this up with our JB Weld and it's solid. We let it sit overnight and we put it together. Both these holes are filled. What I'm going to do is I would put my spring back in there like that. It fits right over this little housing here. Just stick it down in there like that, put it back together. We're going to put our screws back in and we're going to tighten them down. And what I do is I start at one end, kind of like putting a gasket on a car motor, and then go to the opposite end and tighten that one down next. Then maybe back over to this end. 
and then skip over to this side and that will give it a nice even fit on that gasket so we don't pinch the gasket and leak, leak any air out of it. This being the air valve, this is the most critical part of your, your setup. So, once you have all these screws screwed back in, and your lid is on nice and tight, and you remember that we already filled this with JB Weld in both holes, and we let it sit overnight. Once we've got this valve back together, now we can put, start putting the cannon back together. So what I'm going to do now, for demonstration purposes, I would glue this end on here, I would glue this end on in here. And this is our sleeved barrel. So you can see how it's sleeved on the inside. It's actually two barrels in one on this kit. And that's what makes the golf ball fit the cannon. So there's our barrel. Both these ends are glued. The next piece is this sleeve. We're going to glue that into place here. This takes the inch and a half threaded bushing here. This I don't glue. I just screw that in until it's snug. So there's your barrel. That's all there is to it. Now the next piece, I'm going to go ahead and glue this for you. Our primer that magically appeared here. And we take this little piece of 3 inch pipe that comes with your kit. I'm put this on real good here flip it around, we're going to do the other side while we're doing it. We're going to let this dry for a minute. We're going to go ahead and do the inside of the cap while we're doing it. We're also going to do the inside of this, this sleeve here. This is your 3 inch sleeve. It's important to use this stuff, it primes it really good for you. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this. Glue here. I'm going to put a nice coating of glue on the inside of this cap. Be real liberal with this, we don't want any leaks. So really swab it in there good. I'm going to put a little bit on this one too, just to make sure we get a good gooey fit on there. It's real important that this holds air. So with that like that, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to slightly give it a twist as I put it on. Make sure we got a good, good grip of it there. Now with this next piece, I'm going to put some good glue on the inside of this one as well. twist this one on here like this. See how you get that seal around it? That lets us know that this thing's going to be airtight. And what I do is I wait for this to dry and then you can just scrape it off with a knife if you want to make it nice and clean.